Hi, welcome to Expertizer Academy. This is Giri, Lecture in Physics. In this video, we will discuss about the AC circuit contains pure resistor and AC circuit contains the pure inductor. Here, consider one simple circuit. In this simple circuit, we have a resistor and an AC voltage source. Resistor and an AC voltage source. In this AC voltage source, the voltage is maximum voltage into sin omega t. So here omega t represents the angular displacement by this wave. Next. In resistor, we have one property that is resistance. The resistance property always opposes the flow of current in the circuit. So let's verify the derivation part in this AC circuit containing pure resistor. We know that voltage in an AC source, AC voltage source, V is equal to Vm sin omega t. V is equal to Vm sin omega t. So voltage at resistor Vr that is equal to Ir. Here the voltage is at capillar and AC source. Both are equal but in opposite direction. So that means V minus Vr that is equal to 0. V minus Vr that is equal to 0. So therefore, V is equal to Vr. So from these two relations, Vm sin omega t that is equal to Ir. From this relation, I is equal to Vm divided by R into sin omega t. I is equal to Im sin omega t. So here Im, that means maximum current, that is equal to Vm divided by R. So look at the directions of maximum current and maximum voltages. So here, we are representing the, the formation of waves for voltage and current in the circuit. With respect to the voltage and angular displacement graph. So this is the information about the AC circuit containing pure resistor. Next, AC circuit containing only an inductor. Here we have one simple circuit. In this circuit, we have a one inductor and AC voltage source. In this AC voltage source, the voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega t. Let's verify the, the EMF generation in inductor. The alternating current flowing through the inductor 
induces a self-induced EMF or back EMF in the circuit. The back EMF is given by EMF symbol epsilon that is equal to minus inductance into change of current minus capital L into change of current with respect to time by applying Kirchhoff's loop rule to the purely inductive circuit we get sum of voltage at a source of AC voltage and back EMF at an inductor must be equal to zero. So we know that voltage at an AC voltage source that is Vm sin omega t that is equal to L into di by dt. So separate this relation di is equal to Vm divided by L into sin omega t dt. Integrating both sides we get I is equal to Vm divided by L integral sin omega t dt. I is equal to Vm divided by L omega into minus cos omega t plus constant. So this constant represents the integration constant. In mathematically, we know that cos omega t that is equal to sin 90 minus omega t. So minus sin 90 minus omega t that gives sin omega t minus pi by 2. So apply this, i is equal to Vm divided by omega L sin omega t minus pi by 2. So therefore, i is equal to I am sin omega t minus 90. So here I am is the maximum current that is equal to Vm divided by omega L. Here omega L is the inductive reactance that symbol is XL. The product of angular frequency and inductance, that is inductive reactance, XM. So the omega that is equal to 2 pi F into L. So this is the inductive reactance. Let's verify the the direction of voltage and the current and also wave nature, wave structure of the voltage and the current. Here the voltage at initially it starts from origin but current is starts in, in negative path. And also the current starts at 90 degrees in positive wave. So the phase difference between these two is pi by 2. Here we discussed the resistor in AC circuit. In this circuit, we have a current I is equal to I m sin omega t. 
and a inductor in AC circuit here current I is equal to I m sin omega t minus pi by 2. So this is the information about the AC circuit containing pure resistor and inductor. So thanks for watching this video. For more videos visit www.expertiseracademy.com. Thank you.